what do you do with the puck antenna? Keep it simple. Now, um, the puck antenna, this is similar to a video I've done before, has quite a few options and variations. They always look exactly the same. So the, the basic essence of the antenna is, it's a very compact, very rugged antenna. Comes with two meters of cables for whatever application you have. So in this example I have with me, it's the Puck 2, has two 4G antennas. But I just quickly want to have a table that I'll put on the screen now um, to just run through the different models so you can make your selection of what are the features that you want out of this Puck antenna. As I mentioned before, can be used um, very specifically in IoT or machine to machine applications, thinking about charging stations, um, vending machines, bank tellers, so forth. This compact antenna is not going to be an obvious antenna um, and it can be really vandal resistant and in a rough environment such as mining, um, it will be quite concealed and can be um, you know, quite robust against any uh, events or um, things that might break it. So I just want to go through this table quickly. I have it written down as well. So just to run through all the features that's available on this antenna. So the pack one is of course the simplest one. So one means there's only one antenna cable coming out, one antenna in there. It's a 5G antenna. So with 5G, it means this antenna that's in there, if it's a pack one, is 617 megahertz. So it's suitable for the United States up to six gigahertz. So it covers all the 4G, 5G frequencies. Um, and, and for any application that you want to use in that frequency band. So that's the PUC1. The second one, which is the one that I have in front of me, is PUC2. Um, PUC2 is the same again. It is just a 2x2 two two MIMO, meaning it has two 4G, 5G antennas in there. Same frequency band. So the two antennas starts from 600 megahertz, 617 to be precise, up to 6 gigahertz. So it can be used on a 2x2 two two modem, such as the Teltonica 241s or the um, 951 and so forth as well. Need to mention all these antennas, all the modems that I'm referring to is available on our website, rfshop.com.au. If it's for a project, please remember to give us a call and we can do specific quotes. We deal direct with pointing. We are distributor for pointing. The same with Teltonica. We are a distributor for Teltonica. So for project specific needs, do come to us to discuss the exact needs rather than just looking through the website. We can help you to get the exact um, item for your project. The next one is the PAC-3. Um, now PAC-3 is also quite easy to understand. So it has one of each of the technologies that are relevant. So one 4G, 5G antenna, one Wi-Fi antenna, one GPS antenna. The Wi-Fi antenna is dual band. So it's 2.4 to 2.5. So it does a low frequency band. And it also covers five gigahertz up to 7.2 gigahertz. So it's ready for what's currently uh, the five gig band and it's also ready for wi-fi 6 wi-fi 6e and anything else that needs to come still this antenna is ready for that so using a puck means you can future proof your iot setup for new technologies you might change the modem but the antenna itself can still be there so your infrastructure can be ready for new technologies the next one is puck 4. Now, up to now, the logic of the number still makes a lot of sense. So PUC4 is going to give us 2x2 two two MIMO for 4G, 5G. So PUC4 has three antenna ports. So it's a three in one. So it's 2x2 two two for 4G, and it is a GPS. And now the logic doesn't follow this logic sequence anymore. It's just, just have to look at the table, look at the numbers, and make sure that you see this is the one that I need. PUC5, again, is quite simple to understand. So PUC5 has five antennas in there, two 4G, 5G antennas, two Wi-Fi antennas that are dual band and GPS. In other words, any of those modems that have all those features can use the PUC5, one antenna outside and a complicated modem on the inside. And it's one set of cables that comes through a combined harness to link the two up. Now, the next one is PUC7. So there is no PUC6, doesn't exist. It's five and then there's a seven. PUC7 has two by two 4G and two by two Wi-Fi. In other words, it's a simplifi simplification of the PAC-5. So it has two 4G 5G antennas and it has two Wi-Fi antennas. All right, PAC-8, let me get my notes again. Uh, two 4G antennas, 5G antennas. So two by two on the cellular band and a Wi-Fi antenna. So the PAC-8 has three antennas on the inside, which is two cellular antennas and one Wi-Fi antenna. And the second to last is the PUC12 or PUC12, 
I don't know if which way you want to call it. It has two by two Wi-Fi. So the Puck 12 or the Puck 12 is really good for Wi-Fi applications where that's all you need. That's the antenna that you would use. And the last one is self-explanatory. It is the GPS one. It's the same structure, so it looks like a Puck antenna, but there is not the name Puck in it. The GPS one is just a nice, solid, reliable GPS module in there. Um, so all in all, in the family of Puck style antennas. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine antenna options available, all looking like this one, but with different amount of cables coming out, always two meter cables and different configuration. If you need any of those antennas, let us know and we will help you for quote. If it's single antenna, we may have it in stock or like a few tens of so. We'll probably have them in stock, but if you need a few more for your project, do let us know. We can work it through with you and see if you can you, make sure you select the right antenna. Um, as I mentioned before, it's all on our website. So give us a call, visit our website, rfshop.com.au. Um, other than that, see you on the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.